In the South Bay, the San Jose police officer who was shot while responding to a family disturbance call yesterday remains in critical condition. She was rushed to the hospital after that shooting near Osare Avenue and Race Street yesterday. ABC 7 News reporter Zach Fuentes spoke with neighbors today, and he has the latest. Crews are working to repair this broken gate, a last remaining sign of the intense police scene the area saw just a day before. I saw them knock down the gate, um, everything like that. It wouldn't stay open for them, and nobody knew like how to keep it open. Benjamin Lee says he lives just a couple of doors down from the home. Police surrounded during a four-hour standoff with the suspect. They came upstairs, knocked on our house, and then was like, hey, we got to escort you out. Um, so it was my fiance and I, they kind of like sandwiched us between uh, two police officers, and essentially we were called to leave. San Jose police say they were initially called to the home for a family disturbance before 8 Wednesday morning. The caller said her husband was drunk and tried to hit her. Police say the two responding officers were ambushed just 30 seconds after arriving to the condo complex. Neighbors were either evacuated, forced to stay in their home, or kept outside of the wide police perimeter. I was out. Hours, yeah, but that's okay. I mean, I understand. Thursday, police released this update saying that the officer remains in critical but stable condition a day after the shooting. San Jose Police Chief order. Anthony Mata says she First was shot in the upper body God. outside of her vest. Mata says it was a fast response from her partner that led to her survival. Without hesitation or consideration for himself, the officer's partner extracted the victim officer from the line of fire. That officer is the older brother of Assemblymember yeah, Evan Lowe. It's been more than 24 hours after this all happened. How is he doing? He physically is doing well, but I know that he is still very tense and recapping and replaying in his mind what transpired. As more news on the injured officer's condition is awaited, Lowe says the tragic situation is a wake-up call. It's just a stark reminder about this heroism that we see displayed each and every day. Police say the suspect was a convicted felon who was not allowed to have a gun. Neighbors who say they've met the man are still trying to come to terms with the news. We talked about it with, with all of our neighbors, and it's definitely, I don't know, I don't know if I'm, I haven't really processed it. The suspect is expected in court Friday in San Jose, Zach Fuentes, ABC 7 News.